What's good YouTube, GiantsFan696 back here with a video today and today's video is going to be a breakdown of the Whistle badge in NBA 2K24. Whistle, new badge added this year, it increases the chances of drawing fouls when trying to score. So there's a bunch of ways to kind of activate this badge, um, whether it be shooting or driving to the basket. So what I did in this case is I am taking Tatum, created the thresholds of him at bronze, silver, gold, hoth, and then one without having to badge at all, which are, so for bronze, you could either have 73 close shot, 74 driving layup, 75 driving dunk, 73 mid-range shot, or 77 three-point shot. So that's, you know, it's like five different things you could use. We're going to really focus on the driving aspect because that's really what's in your control when using whistle is yourself driving to the basket. A shot, I mean, you can't really control someone jumping at you or not. So we're going to focus on definitely the driving aspect of it. So then for silver, you need 84 close, 85 driving layup, or 86 driving dunk. Gold, you would need 92, 95, or 95. And then for Hall of Fame, you would need 99s across the board. So yeah, like I said, took Tatum, edited him to have the badge at all those tiers with those attribute thresholds. And then as usual, I made one with him not having the badge at all at a 72 close shot, 73 driving layup, and 74 driving dunk. So we're gonna be driving to the rim and going up, and we're just gonna see how many fouls we get and uh, see if we notice a big jump in any of the tiers and just see uh, what I recommend to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so this first test is going to be with Tatum having no whistle. So, like I said before, he'll be at a 72 close, 73 driving layup, 74 driving dunk. And we're just going to go up. We're just going to call pick and roll, drive to the hoop, see if we get a foul. We'll do it like five times at each tier, and we'll see if we notice a significant difference at any point. Now, I'll go and try to run at Kawhi every time just because he's the best defender. And we're going to see if we get a foul or if he contests us. So, right there is 0 for 1, right? Even if we make it, we want a foul. And not that we made it there, but we're only going to be counting foul calls. So, and we're, like I said, I want Kawhi to be the hedge defender every time because he is the best defender on the other team. Then we're just going to go up, set, 0 for 2. All right, let's try again. It's again, just going to go up. Okay, so we got a foul there with no whistle. So we're 1 for 3. I mean, that's kind of expected to me because if you drive enough times, I mean, eventually they're just going to call a foul regardless. So that's one for three right there. And again, I only want to run at Kawhi just to like keep the test consistent. Kawhi's the best defender. He's a really good defender, so he'll be a good test. But Jalen got to hit PG with the screen. There we go. All right, it's one for four. All right, one for four right now. Let's see what our last one against Kawhi looks like. And we finished one for five. So, again, didn't really expect, you know, much with no whistle. Did get fouled one time because drive enough times you'll get fouled eventually. So, one for five. Now we'll go ahead and test out that bronze whistle. All right, guys. So, now I am at the bronze thresholds with uh, 73 close shot, 74 driving layup, and 75 driving dunk with bronze whistle. So four, no whistle, went one for five on foul call. So let's see if that improves now with the bronze. Try to go up, that's 0 for one. Kawhi walled me up that time. Again, gonna just continually run at Kawhi on the drive off the PNR. Really the most realistic situation you'd use whistle is coming off a screen, driving at the hedge defender. So we're gonna stick to that. All right, that's 0 for two. Kawhi easily walls me up that time. Again, that is 0 for three. No foul call there. All right, 0 for four. And the way it's looking right now, we might not even tie no whistle. We got to see what our last attempt looks like. But it looks like bronze whistle isn't too good because we are 0 for 4 right now. And right there, guys, you see we do go that 1 for 5. 
with drawing that foul on Kawhi. So, so far, no whistle. Bronze whistle have both went one for five on getting fouled. So let's go ahead and move up on to silver. All right, guys. So now I am at silver whistle. So I got an 84 close shot, 85 driving layup, and 86 driving dunk. Hopefully, we draw more than one foul as we did in the first two tiers, but find out. Again, strictly running at Kawhi. Keep things consistent. All right, that's 0 for 1 right there. That right there is 0 for 2. That's 0 for 3. So we're 0 for 3 right now, so not looking good for Silver Whistle. Let's go ahead and try next one. Right there, that's 0 for 4 again. So hopefully, hopefully we go 1 for 5 and at least tie what we got with Bronze and No Whistle, but we'll see. It's tough right now. I'm 0 for 4 right now. Let's see if we are going to go 1 for 5 or 0 for 5. And again, we go one for five again. So that's three straight times in a row. We have went one for five. So, so far I'm obviously not crazy about whistle if we are doing the same without whistle. So we're gonna go ahead and test out that gold threshold now. All right guys, so now we are at gold whistle. So we are at a 92 close shot, 95 driving layup and 95 driving dunk. So we went one for five combined in the first three tests. Not come by, sorry. One for five each in the first three tests. So let's see if we have any improvement here. And we did. So, I mean, that's one for one right there. Fouls on Kawhi. Drove at Kawhi. So, yeah, one for one. So, I mean, that's a good start. Hopefully we don't go one for five again. We at least see some improvement. All right, one for one. See what we're looking like on our second attempt. And, yeah, I mean... I it called it called a foul, so I'm I'm gonna call that two for two. I know it wasn't a shooting foul, it was a blocking foul, but he didn't do that on any of the other attempts, so Alright, so got walled up there, so we're called that two for three. I mean two for three is already way better than uh first three tests, so but we'll see. Be nice if it would happen once or two more times just so uh you know, you could see some value in gold. Well, that's two for four. <laughs> All right, one more. Okay, they called that on Kawhi, so I'm going to count that as three for five. Because maybe Kawhi called a foul and, like, we're driving at Kawhi said, so it's three for five. That's actually not bad. Three for five on just driving to the hoop randomly and getting a foul call. That's actually pretty good because, you know, most of the time you're not just... That's like a bailout play you'd use, right? So we'll go ahead and try out Hoff. But actually, I was pretty happy with gold. Made Kawhi foul me three out of the five times. So All right, guys. So last test here. Now Tatum got Hoff whistle with 99 close shot driving layup and driving dunk. So we'll see. Gold was pretty good. Went three for five. But uh, let's see if Hoff is even better. All right, that's 0 for 1. All right, that's 1 for 2. Good way by Tatum to draw the foul there. Okay, that's 1 for 3. Good way by Kawhi to... That actually looks like it would be a foul animation, but they didn't call a foul, so 1 for 3. All right, so that's two for four right there. Good way by Tatum to draw the foul. Let's see, in our last one, either we are gonna tie gold blinders or we're gonna do worse than gold blind, not blinders. So I don't know why I said blinders. <laughs> we're either gonna tie um, gold whistle or we're gonna do slightly worse than gold whistle. So we'll see, right now we're two for four though. All right, and we are able to go three for five right there. And guys, so to sum things up, no whistle, bronze whistle and silver whistle, we went one for five. Gold and Hoff, we went three for five on getting fouled while driving. 
So my take's pretty simple. I would say go gold. If you're a guy who drives like a lot and you know, you're looking for the bailout foul call, then I, I don't judge, I don't judge. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I would just say go gold. Cause I mean, the attributes for it, they are kind of high. You do need a 92 close shot, 95 driving layup or 95 driving dunk. You only need one of those three to get um, gold whistle. Could also go for the 93 midi or 94 three if you're looking for for that too. But yeah, I'd say go gold. That's really the lowest you could go to kind of consistently rely on getting a bailout foul call while driving against a good defender. So, so yeah, I'd say go gold. Anything below that isn't worth it and Hoff isn't anything spectacular. So that's my take on things. Appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below which badge I should break down next and I'm out.